up at 3.45 a.m., cardio by 4.45 a.m., hitting the iron by 6.15 a.m., in my pickup truck by 7.15 a.m., heading to work, ready to get after it. Ready Why to- you started. All you can think about is what's in front of you right now. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Oh, fuck. And it gets pretty hard. You're like, fuck, this is going to be really hard. And you start to grind it out. And then all of a sudden things start to click. to all my players out there in games land how you do this as with a z check this out man quarantine screwing everybody diets so especially here in california they're totally delaying opening the gyms it's making us uh uh fitness minded motherfucking uh beast have to refer to other means of sources we stick at home especially i'm stuck at home and we just got stuff. We just eating and everything. But anyway, I got some females, some clients. And they're hitting me up and they're saying, look, I'm trying to diet. I'm trying to stay vigilant in this motherfucking counting calories, but I can't do it. She says the only way, and also this is a male-female couple, the only way we can lose weight is that we don't eat. We just 1,200 calories, the minimum we stay there, we're losing weight, but we can't maintain our gains, man. The gains are leaving. I know about the gains leaving, man. Like, gains are hard to keep unless you are a beast. And most of us aren't beasts. But keep in mind, look, I work from home, eight hours, damn near six o'clock because I'm salary. I deal with clients. I deal with the home issues. I deal with these, I don't know if you can see them, sleeping ass dogs. I deal with a crazy ass woman. No, no offense. Anyway, can't go too many places. You really, I don't have a full gym here. They close it down. You really, I mean, to get up and do push-ups and sit-ups, it's hard because you can't do it, man. How do you do it? I said, here we go. I'm going to tell you what one of the true strengths, the abilities, the capabilities, not the case, is that the right word? One of the, the things that allow you to... Uh, Lose weight and maintain them muscle bellies. Maintain that growth. Maintain, I'll say, up to 90, 95% of your gains with a little effort. Before I go any farther, I'm not goofy, even though niggas call me. I'm not goofy. I don't work for, bang, you can send me some money, though. I'm not a psychiatrist. Anyway, what, what I'm trying to tell you right now is SARMs. Selective androgen receptive modulators will help you. And this is what they were designed to do. Hold on to muscle. You hear what I'm saying? They hold on to muscle. Normally, when you cut back on your caloric intake to such a deficit, your body will at some point start eating muscle because it goes into a uh, it goes into this zone like it, it wants to save itself. Kind of like a bear eats a lot of food, then it goes into hibernation, and it lives off the fat throughout the winter, then the summer it eats again. You know, it eats a lot, and it eats off the fat. What your body does, it eats off the fat, but it also will start cannibalizing its own muscle. So how do SARS play? SARS hit that modulator, hit that receptor, and they maintain that muscle while in increasing or influencing or telling your motherfucking body to use okay, be, to use your fat reserves for energy, right? It holds on to that muscle. It, it preserves that muscle. That's why they were made for cancer patients, people who are bedridden, people of radiation. So check this out. I'm going to give you the secret. And I usually charge my, oh, I'm getting beeper. I usually charge my clients for this shit, but I'm going to tell you because I love my YouTube family. I need to get my views up to get my subs up. I'm at 1,500. I was at 10,000 once. I don't know what's happening, but check this out. One second. This is just a general. Now, what you need to do, you need to find out what your caloric intake is daily to maintain your current weight. For me, it's about 2,200 calories, right? Now, when I'm going on a diet, I'm getting ready. See, I'm getting ready for a show or something. 
take it down to about 1800. But with hard work, will I see the gains and it's too slow. Most of those ain't going to do hard work, especially during quarantine. So if these are just rough numbers. I'm not a doctor. Do your own due diligence and find your sweet spot. But for me, if I take my daily caloric intake, and I'm seeing it, guys. I'm not ready to take the shirt off yet. But, but trust me, I will. Especially my girl. My girl got a little fluffy. She's like a walking frosty freeze right now. Don't tell her I said that. Like a little slurpy. You know, she ain't, ain't happening. But I got her down, man. Hers is about, because she's a little, not really active, it's about 2,300 calories to maintain her weight. We took her down. Because we have to be real strict. Now, I took her down with a buffer because she's going to cheat. I took her down to about 1,250 calories a day. She's coming in about 1,400. Actually, 1,600 to do it. But see, at 1,200, and she thinks she's getting away. So my thing. At 1,250 calories a day, me at 1,400 calories a day. Right? And that's eating healthy. I'm not eating bullshit. Right? I set the macros. I'm getting my caloric intake. To 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 in to enhance or to promote a significant weight loss. At the same time, supplementing that with my storms and where are they? On? I don't know where they are. I keep them here because I keep them here, right? Maintaining my muscle, and every night I do about 150 to 200. Push-ups, 75 sit-ups, some lunges, like that. Basic stuff. I'm maintaining my muscle mass or most of my most of my size, and I'm losing weight. Got I'm dropping like five, six now five, six pounds weight. Now, what does that do for you? Two things. First of all, when you start seeing the weight loss, you feel better. You see, even even through t-shirts and stuff, you should start feeling better. But it makes you not want to fuck up, excuse my language, so much. When you look at that snicker bar, you go, ah, do I really want it? Right? Because you know I only got a certain amount of calor caloric calories to eat a day. It changes your whole mindset. Now, what's going to happen is once the gyms increase, you feel me? And once I start doing the real hoka <laughs> workout, I'm going to want to mentally increase my caloric intake because I will want to get bigger. I won't be satisfied with just having guns. I'm going to want to have cannons, right? So it's a mindset. So right now, while I'm sitting there watching TV, working from home, doing all that kind of stuff, got my bang just to keep me up. See, the bang is zero calories just for this energy. I'm eating the bare minimum. and my pants are fitting looser in the waist. My shirts from the woo -hoo, from the chest down are starting to get a little like they were a little slack in them, and I'm starting to feel good. Face is starting to narrow out a little bit. See the visual thing. I'm not really caring about the scale right now. I'm caring about how I visually look, and this is great for females because most women are home now with their kids. Kids aren't going to school. Kids constantly snack, so you. Pack the pantry with all kind of kitty bull, sugar high bullshit to keep the kids happy, but you're constantly feeding in them. And you're starting to see your waist increase. And if you're like me with the social media presence, the, the, the pressures of having a YouTube channel, having to look a particular way, having clients, you got to maintain a, a, a kind of look, right? And you're so into it that I forget the prep meals. So I cut my caloric intake down, right? I still, because because you gotta you gotta eat at least. I mean, you know, anything lower than twelve hundred caloric calories a day isn't healthy. It is isn't healthy over a period of time, right? But what you do is you make you, you take that. You, so I'm about eight hundred calories less a day than I should be, and I feel fine. But I'm maintaining muscle. But my body is going to a kind of a recomp because now it has to reset itself on a lower caloric intake, which means it has to drop fat. It has to drop this. It has to eat from my fat reserves. It has to rechange. Right? And over a period of time, you don't think I'm not eating anymore for 
pleasure. I'm eating now for health and for a look I'm going for. And over a period of time, it's going to change my whole mindset to where I haven't had a snicker and snicker bar in three days. I used to fuck a snicker bar. I used to fuck a snicker bar. I don't even want one no more because you lose that craving for that sugar. Right? And that's because of SARMs. If I wasn't on SARMs, I'd be looking like a mar That's why you got a marathon guy that runs and you got a, a sprinter. They're different builds. Sprinting is more of high intensity, quick bursts. Marathon, they just running long ways, constantly burning. That's why they slim the sky. I don't want that look. We well, you want more of a, uh, of a gymnast look, right? Gymnasts are are what? Are what? They're yoked. They're, 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 they're proportional. They're aesthetic. That's what you get when you do that. And SARMs allow you to do that, especially my women out there. You want to lose them saddlebags? You want to tone up that ass? Every night, do some squats. Just hold on to some milk, a couple, couple pounds. Hold on to your kid. Do some squats. And cut out the bullshit. Eat just enough calories to be healthy. Take your SARMs and trust me. Look at the results. And they're fast. Eh, about two, three weeks, you'll see it. Peace, like, subscribe, and triple the fitness. I'm back from Corona. Had the COVID shit. Took me down. I was fucked up for a long time, but I'm back making videos. Wear your mask. Be to do, do your due diligence. Like, subscribe, True Muscle Fitness, and thank you for being my friend. I don't care what color you are. We all matter in the fitness community. We just say it like that. Please like, subscribe, follow on social media. Subscribe. We got coaching available. Don't just... Go out there and cut your calories all down and walk around looking like a twig and, and complain because you lost your gains. Maintain your gains. Do what you got to do, especially at an older age. We got to be more extreme. Peace, like, subscribe to People's Fitness. I'm out.